What is up my clan? Welcome to Sunday here in Newport Village. We are already out of the house. Kids wanted to go to the beach, so that's where we're going. To the beach! So Ken, Papa, and all the girls went to the store to pick up uh, all the essentials for a week-long stay at a beach house. Water bottles, food, plan out all the meals. So uh, we figured, we asked the kids what they wanted to do and all of them said, the beach! So we're going to the beach. Which happens to be right across the street. How convenient. Really, I should have started running. Not a bad way to start the day, huh? Huh? It's like 10 a.m. and we're at the beach. The weather's awesome. What happened, dude? Drops? Did you, get, did you get some sand in your mouth? Which, what happened? There was a big wave and I fell over it. No, I didn't fall. It went over my head and I got all my mouth. Yeah, salt water's not oh, tasty, no. is it? Alright, there's a bunch of dolphins that just popped up. Dolphins! Dolphins! Oh, I lost them. There they are. Look at them. There's like three of them. I think they're dolphins, or they will. Oh, it's a dolphin! It's totally a dolphin! Holy crap! You see his head pop up? That was awesome! Where's my guy? He What'd he do? He popped his head up! Yeah? yeah! Dolphins are back. There's like three or four of them. One of them just like rode a wave right here in front of us where the kids were. I mean, if Sierra was out there boogie boarding, she may have like ran into the dolphin. Like, it was right in the waves. It was swimming in the waves. A whole family of them. There's like tons of them. There's like ten. One, two, three, four. Look at how big they are. Holy crap! What are you guys doing? I've been finding a whole bunch of like crawfish. I think they're shrimp. Shrimp? I think they might be shrimp. We see a whole bunch of them and we're just throwing them back up to the stuff I think that's what the dolphins are eating. I think that's what the dolphins are eating. They're eating those. Yeah, that's why they're out here. There's so many of them. I saved four of them. You saved there's four of them? Over there. You gonna save that one? Yep. All right, let's save them. Yep, just go right behind, right there. He can't get you. He, can't, he can't get you. Okay. He, he, his pinchers don't go back that far. It feels weird. Go ahead, grab him. Just pinch him. <laughs> no, from the right behind. No, from behind. Ah! Right by the tail, see Bryce. There you go. Everyone's back at the house now. Just got done putting away groceries and eating lunch, and everyone's kind of in chill mode grabbing a cocktail. The house is big enough that everyone's kind of dispersing all over the place. It's uh, hard to bump into people. So far, the kids' favorite activity to do in the house is play hide and seek because the house is big enough that they can do that. Play hide and seek? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What are you guys gonna hide? Uh, we're just gonna walk around. Just walk around right now? What? What was that? What? What was that? And apparently Bryce is taking a poop while he counts. Took a little bike ride over to uh, Newport Beach Boardwalk, and I think that's the Newport Pier right there. Hustle and bustle, this is definitely where everyone's at. Check out this custom ride. I can't tell if it's fur or feathers. <laughs> Some old, old school bikes right there. Look at the Schwinn. Oh wait, wait, he's got, he, wait, he's got, he's got a Twitter name and an Instagram. Look at that. You got charcoal, right? How you pronounce that? Eli Elias. Eli Elias. Elias. Elias the Fiddler. Alright, what do you guys want to hear? Oh! 
Do you know what that is? I don't know. What is it? Huh? Yeah, you got it. Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that cool? Jack and I ended up breaking off from the pact. Went to a couple of stores. I picked up these new glasses. I finally stepped up back up to spy where I uh, used to only wear spy sunglasses and I kept losing them. I would either lose them, they get stolen, they'd break. Oh, don't chase it. I, well, I'm, I'm just saying. And so I started just wearing the freebies, the free ones that I wear. I'd buy them here on the, on the boardwalk. Three days. Five dollar, five dollar specials, right? Two for ten dollars, stuff like that. And uh, I've been able, I've been, I've managed to keep the same sunglasses now for almost three years. And I have like ten pairs of free sunglasses because I don't lose them. And so I said, you know, what? I think I'm ready to step back up and actually buy a pair of real sunglasses. And so these are the generals. In the eyes of an adult with a mortgage. Right, this boy. Oh, yeah. Also picked up a pair of these Sanook sandals. Yes, they are sandals. Yeah. Got the uh, foam rubber insoles and uh, they're guaranteed to be never uncomfortable. I'm gonna hold them to it, because I love the slip-ons, but they always rub my heel right there. So I'm hoping these don't do that. But they're sandals, I can totally rock them in the water and everything, I'm stoked. I've always wanted to wear a pair of these, they never find a style I like in my size. So I picked up those as well, so I'm happy, happy, happy boy. All right guys, so I just tweeted, Facebooked, Instagrammed, and tumbled all the details to our California meetup. It's this Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Universal City Walk by the giant Universal Globe Fountain. So just outside of Universal Studios Hollywood, you don't have to actually go into the park. It's totally free. It's a shopping area. It's where all the restaurants and the shops are and everything like that. You just gotta find parking uh, from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. So hopefully that works for all you guys that are still in school. Because I, I think you guys, I'm almost 100% positive you guys are still in school if you live here in like the LA area. School's getting out this week and next week. And so we did it later in the day, 5 to 6. Hopefully that works for people who work, your parents who work, people that are in school. That's what we were trying to think, as many people as we can. Because all the meetups we've had either been like too early or in the middle of the day and like, you know, mom and dad work, kids are in school, it doesn't work out. So hopefully five to six works and you guys don't get caught in traffic. Uh, it's gonna be strict though from five to six because we're gonna leave the park to go do the meetup and then we wanna be able to get back to, you know, everybody and have dinner and whatnot. So from five to six, we're gonna be kinda of strict on that. So this Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., Universal City Walk outside by the Big Globe Fountain. Hope to see you guys there. Right. Uncle Ken's showing the kids magic tricks again. He's actually teaching them how to do it this time. We're gonna have a couple of magicians on our hands very soon. And dinner's ready, look at that. We got vegetables, chicken, potatoes, potatoes. Feast as usual. So we decided to come down for a late night stroll. It's about 10 p.m. And uh, you can't really tell, but the ocean's right behind us. You can probably hear it. But check out the sky. Look at that sky. It's 10 p.m. It got dark about 8, I think. And the sun is still like illuminating the clouds. How crazy is that? Crazy! But uh, yeah, it's chilly. High tide. The water's coming up basically to the top of the hill that we were sitting on earlier. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's definitely a different vibe at 10 o'clock at night. There's nobody on the boardwalk. You know, every once in a while you get a few stragglers, people walking by or biking by. You can actually hear all the waves. It's chilly, it's breezy. But uh, in the end, it's still Southern California, beachside. Love it, love it. We made our way back to the beach house. Gonna call it a night, it's getting late and everyone's starting to turn in. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. It looks like I got a little sun. My face is almost as red as my shirt. <laughs> I don't know when. I went on that bike ride, but I guess uh, no hat, no no sunblock, it'll do that to you. Short amount of time. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Tap the eye in the sky for the last three years videos. Uh, one year ago, our vacation was over and we were traveling back to Phoenix from Tahoe. So we spent some time in the airport, um, rental car, that sort of thing. Uh, having to say goodbye to Ken, Teresa, and Bella and uh, get settled back in at the house. I think we pick a baby from the uh, pet hotel as well. Uh, so check that out. Two years ago, we start our road trip. Uh, we road trip it to San Diego. We kick off kind of the same thing we did here. A big giant beach house, three stories, two different houses, giant patio next to the beach. Like one, like the house next to the beach. It was awesome. 
Uh, we keep talking about it. That was definitely the mo most memorable vacation we've had thus far. Hopefully this year's will top that, but so far that was the best. And that's, that was the day that we kicked it off. So we want to start there for the next week's uh, videos. Uh, and three years ago, Tiffany got her hair done. She did something uh, totally different than she had done in the past. She got blonde and red highlights in it. She's never done that before and just surprised the heck out of me um, because tomorrow is her birthday and I take her up to Sedona and surprise her with a little uh, adventure, just the two of us, for her birthday. And so she did the, her hair, totally surprised me. My reaction is priceless. You definitely want to check that out. Um, in the cards, links down below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow as we have another day here in Newport Village. Vlog on. <laughs>